Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness the most excitingly different new concept in the history of television. Whoa, 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 whoa. We are looking at 1965. It's TV today from the world of tomorrow. The history of Predicta. The picture can turn anywhere. The Soko Predicta. No picture could ever compare with Soko Predicta. But Soko Predicta. The TV industry was in bad health in 1957. The country was going into a mild recession, and the market was saturated. 75% of all households had a television set. Philco itself was not in good fiscal shape at this time. Its push into diversification, coupled with no real long-term corporate strategy, was starting to drastically thin an already stark bottom line. RCA was pushing color sets and dominating. Zenith was pushing the reliability of its hand-wired sets. This led Philco's VP of Marketing, Henry Bowes, to be quoted saying at the time, We need dramatic new concepts of TV forms. Doubling down on product design and black and white technology advances, Philco would do as it had done before and allow its R&D department to pave the way for the future. The Predicta was a chassis style of console and tabletop sets occupying minimal space, emulating a theater view, with the picture just seeming to hang on the wall. Philco had, well, I'll let the lead pitchman for the predicta, Nelson Case, give you the details. Well, what do you think? Is there any wonder it's called the most advanced television of our time? And the credit all belongs to Philco television scientists, who have worked years to develop a radically new semi-flat picture tube, which measures less from front to back than any you've ever seen. They've created a new Predicta chassis, which puts more picture power in less space. And for the first time in television history, they've discovered a way to separate the tube from the chassis. Now, all this makes possible a new approach to the design, use, and enjoyment of television receivers as we know them. In order to give proper credit, we must mention the team responsible for this design revolution. In 1954, Herbert V. Gosweiler joined Philco as manager of industrial design for consumer electronics. He had studied at Chicago School of Art before serving as a captain in World War II. Personal pet to Gossweiler, Severin Jonathan was a lead designer at Philco and seemed to be quite adept to the design language of the time. By Sev Spearhead, the predicted tandem was even realized. Emil Harmon, a lead mechanical engineer and designer at Philco, was there working as was Richard Whipple. Both had track records of designing some of Philco's biggest early hits. Whipple was actually brought over from radios to help with the Predicta. Francis B. Newman, A.W. Allison, and Catherine Winkler were notable female designers at Philco, with Catherine credited as one of the main designers of the pedestal Predicta. Internal excitement was at a fever pitch for the Predicta. Gossweiler was thrilled at the prospect. Sev can recall Philco product planner Armin Allen saying, What do you think? Will it sell? Sev was so concerned with the radical design, he just said something noncommittal and changed the subject. The Predicta was announced on June 2nd and 3rd, 1958, at Philco's National Distributors Convention. The over 1,200 distributors and dealers in attendance were internally touted as being overwhelmingly excited at this new line of products. Philco seemed to pour money into the R&D of these sets, getting the CRT as thin as possible, using a new plastic composite to house the CRT. Philco was also obsessed with saving actual space and weight with the components of the TV, and was pioneering the use of printed circuits in these sets. The radical shrink of main essential hardware actually contributed greatly to the excessive heat that Predicta were known for. Its television debut to the public was during the 1959 Miss America pageant. I would like to be one of the first people to present to you your gift from our host, the Philco Corporation, your 
television set named in your honor, the Bilko Miss America. Lovely. The 1958 Miss America pageant has been brought to you by Philco Corporation, creators of Predicta, America's newest and most advanced television. See it at your Philco dealer. Well, do you have any guesses as to who she might be? Now, I'll give you a big clue. She's lovely. And here's the lovely TV set named in her honor. Miss America. At first, Predicta seemed to be a great success for Philco. The stock prices rose strongly. An early journal in 1959 was headlining, Sharp Rebound Profits Shaping Up for Philco. Consumer Bulletin claimed, It appears to be a useful approach to the long-awaited wall-type TV. Philco's pricing was comparable to the industry at the time, with, well, I'll let Mr. Case do the talking again. Oh, Philco sure got him this year. Now you take the fabulous Philco predictor that you saw earlier. What a marvel of engineering. And if you're wondering about price, it's less than half what most people think for the most advanced television of our time. Then there's the predictive pedestal, the most unique yet practical console ever designed for television. It's only $299.95 list. Unbelievable, isn't it? And let's take another look at the predicted tandem. Now imagine being able to keep the set beside your chair, put the picture anywhere. There's never been anything like it, and it's all yours for only $329.95 list. And for the smartest in portables, the Slender 17. Philco's briefcase TV that packs more power into less space. Prices start at just $179.95 list. And there you are. Only a sample of the newest, most exciting, most advanced concept in the history of television. But there are so many more models of every style and shape and finish at your Philco dealer right now. Drop in soon, won't you? Unfortunately, things soured quickly after this bit of good press for Philco. Consumer reports criticized the tandem, citing Philco's picture tube, calling it somewhat lacking in crispness or detail. Furthermore, calling the price much too high and saying the CRT is still 35 pounds and heavier than most portables. Philco dealers at the time ultimately cited the unreliability as the death of the set. Many were told to keep as many replacement CRTs as possible and stored many extra chassis boards to swap out. The picture tube reportedly lasted six months, and dealers were reported to have made much more in warranty pay from Philco than any sales of the actual sets. After this news spread and the design novelty wore off, the public quickly soured on the Philco Predicta. The Predicta now resides in the dustbin of history, but let us not forget the interesting things it brought forward if nothing more than a parable of the design concept, form follows function. I want to give a special thank you to Mr. John O., the author of Philco, 1958, An Era of Unique TV Designs, an article featured in the Old Timers Bulletin, May 1994 Antique Wireless Association newsletter. I also want to give a special thank you to my co-producers, Cody Dixon and Kyle Painter.